great to have NATO here. It's the largest NATO uh, conference ever in the history of NATO, 60 countries, all here. At this NATO summit here in Chicago, world leaders have come together to address global challenges that demand global solutions. We came to Chicago with three goals, and we have met them. Here in Chicago, we have charted the course to complete our current mission in Afghanistan, and we have made clear our collective commitment to a stable and secure Afghanistan together with our Afghan partners and the international community as a whole. All 50 of those countries have sacrificed a lot to send their men and women to Afghanistan. So it's important for us to always dedicate ourselves to honoring that sacrifice on the part of those 50 countries and on the individual sacrifice of each of those soldiers. And we're very supportive of our soldiers, you know, um, no matter what cause, we're very supportive for the soldiers over there. Here in Chicago, we agreed to implement a renewed culture of cooperation so that nations can achieve together what they cannot achieve alone. We put it into practice by agreeing on projects which will provide the capabilities we need at a price we can afford. And we made the significant declaration of an interim NATO missile defense capability. And here in Chicago, we met with countries from the four corners of the world and demonstrated our determination to broaden and strengthen our growing network of partnerships in the interest of our shared security. We are uh, making people aware of the Afghan tradition of kite flying, underlining the fact that life is getting back to normal in Afghanistan. The fact that we're here kind of honoring uh, the people of Afghanistan and their, uh, what they've done with kite flying to show that we have the same interests. Let me begin by saying thank you to the people of the city of Chicago for their extraordinary hospitality. This is a city of big shoulders, Chicagoans, prove that this world-class city knows how to put on a world-class event. This has been a highly successful summit. And I would particularly like to thank President Obama, the American government, and the American people, and the people of this great city of Chicago. Chicago is famous for thinking big and for doing great things. You have just organized the biggest summit in NATO's history, and you have done it with great style.